Previously on The Walking Dead. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. Well, here isn't doing us any good. You should think about coming with us, you and Clem. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Those look like the people who raided my Calm camp. Down, you're paranoid. Fuck you! Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. He's not dead! Somebody help me! Come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it! Kenny! What the fuck? Sounds like a car. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. You're right. We shouldn't take this. The rest of us are taking this stuff. Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. What's going on, my people? Episode 3, The Walking Dead. We continue from the last episode of the Dairy Farm. For those that missed the ending of episode 2, go back to the last video. Because this shit got crazy. It got real. But I got one episode coming for y'all today. We're going to try to make this around 25 to 30 minutes. Make it a little bit longer for today. I'm going to work on some other stuff. And I got to get ready to leave and go to the goddamn store to get some food. So let's see what's going on. I got my big ass water. Yeah, people putting co people putting spoilers in the comment section. We gonna block that. Like this is our we gonna block them. Don't do that shit. Yeah, maybe they tend to take us by surprise. Yeah, well, the less I see, the happier I am. All right, where are we at right now? Why are we here? your mind yet about what when it comes to the getting the hell out of Macon I bet you're in the let's stay put camp considering I've been pushing everyone to leave fine I'll take that as a yes then I swear Lee I'd be on my boat this goddamn minute if I didn't think splitting up was suicide cause he know he needs me he know he needs me he ain't got the heart and he left me out to dry two different times. Just like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. What are we, we're headed back to the pharmacy? What's, why, why are we at the pharmacy? Well, they just said why. Shit. You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. All right, we're going to try to make the ladder, but we already know it's about to be the BS. By the way, guys, E3 is a live stream on YouTube. You might want to check the live stream out. Looks Shit! Like she's had it. What now? I'll find another way up. We better get a move on. You act like you just don't give a damn. Are you sure you can't reach me? Listen, you're either going to have to get a hell of a lot taller, or my arms are going to have to get a hell of a lot longer. I get it. Now keep looking. Yeah, you lucky I'll smack your goddamn lips off your face. Locked by all the fallen concrete. Okay, so what do we have here? Can't do anything with that. We will try to push this. Mm. There's, there's a wood panel blocking the tires. Alright, so that's not going to work. They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. Yep, so this is a... It's a no-go for this! It is a no-go, okay. Hmm. Alright, and we smashed our brother's head in over there. Um, what's this? Hmm. Say that again! Hmm. 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 <laughs> Worst sounds ever. Okay, um... I'm just scoping out the area. We probably gotta do something with that truck, though. For sure, I'm thinking. 
There's no safe way through that mess. What's this? Kenny, come on. Ah, shit. Damn it. I can't reach. Sorry, pal. All right, stay put. Bitch, you didn't even really try! If you just lean down far enough. Not gonna happen, pal. Okay, okay. Man, I, Kenny, use a, use a trip, use a trip and a bitch. Hmm. Looks like it still works. Okay. Lily's not doing so good, huh? You murdered her dad. I did what I had to, and you know it. You know what you did? Smashed his head with one of them... <laughs> When I'm leg you smashed his head with a Lego block to death. Death by Lego block. Kenny went out like a bitch too. I'm sorry, not Kenny. Um what's his name? Larry. My question is, is this whole place kinda like closed off? You know, like why are there no um infected here? completely flat perfect but like MacGyver set with me for taking stuff out of that car last week I hope not hoping ain't worth a damn <sighs> Kenny's man Kenny could be a real a-hole sometimes Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. Okay, so it's only been one day since the last um, episode, okay? I just wanted to let y'all know that. Sorry. What'd he say? He wanted to know if Herschel's son somehow made it. Pretty sure he knows he didn't. Don't worry. You made out like a hero in his eyes. It's not like that. All right, let's reach. Reach! You're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Uh, oh, oh, shit! Oh, my goodness, Kenny. Get your gains up. You ain't made no... Jesus. Are you okay? No, dick. I'm shot. Now get ah! off here. Don't scream, do they? Jesus, I don't think so. It's a girl. No, I didn't mean to pick that man, the bitch. Forget the bitch. We gotta do something. Let the bitch die. Oh, she bit now, it's a rat. Fuck, we gotta shoot her. Put her out of this misery. No, we're here. What do you mean? I mean, we leave her alive and she draws them all too. Buying us time. Can't think about it. We're always worrying about the ones we can't see. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. Don't you shoot the No! 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 Hey, we did what we had to do. I know I made a lot of punk ass decisions, but that right there, I wasn't gonna do that one. It ain't all, it, we had the bro before ho that one, right there. A bitch, and I wouldn't have did that, but the bitch made too goddamn much noise. All that noise. We should be good to clear this place out, but we ain't got all day. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear it down here and then we gotta go. They bit her one time and now she's just screaming. They just let her walk. Okay. What do you, what, what the heck? Grab, 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 go, go, go. All 
right five. Six. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. All right, we, we could probably use that medicine. She's gone. There's not much time now. How do they know we're in here all of a sudden? What is that? Come on. Next one, next one, next one, next one. All right, back this way, back this way. We're almost running out of time. We got 14, 15. I'm trying to get 20. I don't know if we'll be able to make 20. I think that's everything. That girl didn't die for nothing, man. Up and over. We're still clear. Let's hustle. Come on, come on. Come on, Kenny. Come on, Kenny. Kenny, Kenny. Kenny, where you at, brother? Don't. Incoming. Come on, Lee. What you mean? Come on, I am squash. Up and over. Yo. So, like. Cringe. Come on. Push it over. Crunch, god damn it! Let's fucking get out! Alright, move, move. <laughs> Woo! Bust his ass with the ass of the gun, though! Come on, man, you gotta hit him a little harder than that, Lee. Hit him a little bit harder than that. <laughs> Got it! That looks like an airplane pilot. Helicopter pallet. What was that? They're everywhere. You took care of yourself, didn't you? Man, I would. Man, I don't know how I could deal with stuff like this every day. Man, they got to live like this every single day, or maybe once a week. They got to try to go out and get food. I would just be like, Jesus. Take me. I might just run out in the middle of the street like just take. All right, I wouldn't want to get. I won't. I wouldn't want to get eaten. But I might just have somebody shoot me in the head tonight. Please, I ain't gonna kill myself. I let you kill me. It's just too real. Nah, I'm just playing though. But I couldn't imagine having to go through some stuff like this. It's crazy. This is madness. Hey, clock. Ben found some stickers in the drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. She's so cool. Tough little girl, man. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. Ha. Huh. So, what did you get? A lot of stuff. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This will keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here! Because piling into an RV with you, after what you did to my dad, is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We have to go eventually, Lily. So you changed your mind. I know, Lee. I know. Eventually is different. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Everything can't come down to the same disagreement. Lily's concerns are valid, you know. Of course you think they God are. God damn it, I'm not on anyone's side. Kenny, this is about everyone. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. We deal with shit as it comes, just like we always do. And when 15 bandits hop over that wall in the middle of the night? What then? You just gonna deal with that? Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. Do you know how we got these supplies? Your pal and I got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. What? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. And you just let her suffer like what? Like bait? Oh God, what is happening? 
She was dead anyway. It made the most sense in the moment. Lee's right. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. You should be thanking Lee for not shooting that girl. It's not so easy for him. Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers. And the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on Earth. And it's coming. This way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing! And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day! Now everybody get out! Bitch, you get out! You the one without the problems! We your castle unit, you leave! She'll get over it. She's riling everybody up otherwise. You understand, Ken. All I know is, whenever this shit happens, I'm the fucking bad guy. I'd like a thank you for once. For once! I feel what he's saying, though. Oh, things are coming to a head. You could say that. Well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Thanks. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. With her wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. You know their breath stink and everything. They, they, ain't, they ain't been able to... Oh, sound like you look like you want the dick. Nah, but ain't nobody washed up. Brushed the teeth. I mean, I hope they got toilet paper. All right, let's see what we... We just gonna go, we gonna go up the steps? Let's see what Lily talking about. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? You have to chill out. I know. I'm trying. I'm trying. I just... I feel like a crazy person. Can I do anything for you? Yes. I need help. There's a traitor. Somebody. One of us. Out there. He or she or they have been taking things. For real? Who? What do you got? Yes, for real. And I don't have shit. I just know. Lily. It counts off and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. What's there to go on? What she got there? I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. Okay, I'll poke around a little bit. Thank you. So we got a uh, pill popper! Jesus, Doc. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. All of that, my brethren. Can I help? No, motherfucker. What did I just say? You're the Grace Detective, and I can be Dick Grayson. Your ward. That's Robin. <laughs> I know who it is. <laughs> you can get out my face. You can't help. And if you tell anybody, it will be trouble. Secrecy. Did you hear what I just said? I won't tell a soul. The part about not helping? You can't help. I will live in the shadows. Boy, should never get a boy no sweets. That dude, he got problems. He need to take his medicine. I know that got to be on some type of medicine for him to come out like that. I don't want Doug's help, man. Well, if he's a good listener, maybe he can find some information, I guess, for us. Um, so I guess we're, what are we doing? We're just looking around here for the moment. Why don't I just walk in a circle? 
Broken glass. Back this way. Hmm. There's an X around the corner. What do we have here? Hmm. Chalk. Pink. Hmm. Duck. A clue. Maybe. What do you think it is? I thought I told you you couldn't help. <laughs> Curious. You don't say. Maybe it's a sign. It could be. It's pink chalk, which is weird. Okay, back to investigating. Oh, Clementine, what the heck are you doing? You're the one with the chalk! I don't know if it's related. Sounds like Kenny actually has that thing running. I'll believe it when I see it. Hey, Ben. What's up, Lee? Did you ever come down here to making much? I didn't have much reason to. My parents would let me take the car into the city on the weekend. But what's in Macon? It's kind of a waste of time compared to Atlanta. I grew up in Macon. Oh. I didn't mean to say it's crappy or anything. It's super nice. I mean, not now, but I bet it was. Is... You know you didn't have to, right? Have you seen anything weird on the watch? Is there anybody out there up to anything? Nope. Really quiet. Really? Yeah, totally. Which is good. I wonder if you were the one hey, ben, with I the need chalk. A piece of chalk. You know where I can get any? Why would I have any? Just asking around. Well, I don't play with that stuff. I've got my... Well, my thoughts. And I've been reading the Bible I found in my room. That's what it's there for. What do you think about Lily? She scares the crap out of me. That's a reasonable thing to feel. I'm just worried she's going to snap. Talk to you later, Ben. Bye. Okay, we just spoke to him. Not much about Chuck. Where was Clem playing at? Before we go up there to see her. Clem, what, what's going on? Where's the pink chalk at? Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. What's that you're working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. See? It's the same. Um, kind of. Ah, that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. Cool. Do you like it here? I don't like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are we going? Somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe if I knew where? Yeah. That'd be a good thing to know. Do, uh, you have any pink chalk? No. It's gone somewhere. Hmm. Do you want blue? No, no. It's okay. Psst. Lee. I found something. What is it? I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. I was calling the scene for clues Yeah, and... Duck, I got it. Good job. Detective Duck! You want a high five? High five on Give him a high five! Ooh, bro fist! That, was bro, that wasn't a bro fist, that was a bro five. Yeah, give him the bro five. Alright, what do we have here? I wonder if somebody's sneaking into the motor in and then taking stuff and leaving. It's possible. You didn't break the flashlight, did you, Duck? No. Mom and Dad won't let me touch any of their stuff. Lily neither. That's probably for the best. You seem to know a bit about all of this. The chalk? You found the scuff here? This is gonna sound crazy, but you're not involved, are you? No, I'm a good guy. Have you found anything else? Just the chalk. I also found some bugs underneath the stairs. Don't tell Clementine. Okay, I won't. Stay inside the gate. I will, I will. Right, so it's saying to me like you wasted my time at the end of the day. 
Let's talk to your parents, see what's going on here. Hey, you two. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's gotta be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? You guys, uh, trust everyone here? More or less. I obviously have my problems with Lily, but I don't distrust her. Yeah, we can't turn on each other any more than we have. You need to try harder with Lily. You guys gotta straighten this out. I don't know how straight we can get it, given all that's happened. So what then? Time will come, we'll have to do what's best for our families. And that's what we'll do. Have you seen any chalk around? Ah, uh, yes. Clementine loves to draw with it. Yeah, she says she's missing a piece of it. Well, I don't know anything about that. Sorry, Lee. About the guns. Don't you start. I just wanted to say, Cat, it's probably good they make you uncomfortable. Thank you, Lee. <sighs> but we need them. There's no doubt about that. I'll talk to you later. Man, I need some action this episode or something. Cause somebody get, well, we already had some, I guess, since the game started. I'm tripping. Why was it doing all that? Um, do we want to go see Lily? I wish they had a sprint button on here though. They don't actually have one. All right, hey. Lily. Find anything? Do you ever want to leave here? I want to leave here when we have to. Not because of some fantasy of somewhere better. So, you think the coast is a pipe dream? Don't you? We're going to live on the water because we assume they can't swim? We're alive because we've stayed here. That's as far as the discussion needs to go. Are you worried about morale at all? The darker things get, the more we have to worry about people giving up. Tell me about it. I know you won't. I'm worried, but what can we do? I don't know. I'll be back. All right, well, we, I really, I ain't found nothing. And, um, I don't know. Let's go, let's go talk to, uh, what's the call it up here? She didn't look too happy when we were having that conversation in that room. Talk to Lily yet? Yeah, she thinks supplies have been walking away. Really? There's some broken equipment, too. I'll look into it. Thanks for doing that. What I wanted to say was, I've been thinking a lot. About you. What about? You're a convicted killer. Carly, Jesus. And I think people should know. Not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. People need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone, but think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. It was a lifetime ago. Which is only going to make the feeling that you hid it and that there was even more to hide that much worse. <sighs> People might be pissed, and telling them might cause some trouble, but it will be a far cry from what'll happen if they don't hear it from you. Yeah. So you'll do it then? Hell no! <laughs> Hell no! What are you so afraid of? Three months ago I told you to tell no one and now I'm telling you to tell everyone. Do you think it's because they'll turn on you? We almost got eaten for fuck's sake. Things are different now. I hope you change your mind. Now, is there anything else you want to talk about? I want to talk about you minding your goddamn business. I don't give a goddamn... Do you have any uh, chalk I can borrow? What, Clementine holding out on you? So you don't have any. No, why would I? You, uh, have any thoughts about Lily? I worry about her, that's about it. She keeps trying to run things, but it's just not working. Do you feel safe here? Show me a bath with a heated floor and a high-rise apartment and hand me a full-bodied Malbec and then I'll feel safe. I don't know, this place is fine, but we all know that that could change at any second. You really think people are ready to hear about me? It's not a matter of ready or not. There's never going to be a good time, 
but there are going to be a lot of bad ones. Right now doesn't seem like one of them. But everyone's different. Who knows how each person would take it, you know? Maybe it's worth thinking about who you want to tell. I'm gonna look into this thing. Good idea. I think you should tell everybody. Why are we going back up there? Hey, car. I nothing to say about that. I'll talk to you later, Clem. I'm not telling. I'm not telling nobody nothing. You got to be out your mind if you think I'm telling on myself. That ain't nobody's goddamn business. Larry knew he got cleaned up. Stay inside the gate. I will. I will. Um. All right. Let's see. If we can find one more possible clue here. What is this? Rats. It, I, it. Let's go back some. Duck's favorite. All right, that doesn't do much of anything. What else did we miss? We looked at that. We looked at the chalk. Broken glass. We checked that. We checked that. Ah! Hmm. Man, this camera view is crazy, man. Okay, well, guys, I think we actually going to wrap this him episode up, and I will see y'all on part two, episode three, Walking Dead. Peace.